Okay, we're going to rifle a barrel. As you can see, this is stepped down. It's been turned between centers. It's actually a little softer steel, but it's been reamed to 2195 after it was drilled 1364. Turned between centers. It's about uh, 1.4 inches there, a little over an inch there, and about 0.85 here. So the way this works is we're going to put this into the chuck, tighten the chuck down, going to get some lube and this is what I'm using here 85140 uh, synthetic same stuff that you can get at any AutoZone store I'm going to get that in here squirt a little into the bore and then we're going to insert the button rifle or the pull rifle and that's just going to go straight through here and with a little wiggle and turn, it should come through the collet here. Might have to loosen the collet a little bit more. Or pull the collet off. Put the rifler through. They aren't exactly straight. They're just a rod. Okay, collet is in. And I don't know if I can hold this correctly. It takes two hands to do this. There's a one inch on the collet itself and 20 millimeters. So it's probably 25 and 20. Pulling that down tight. I'll set this down for just a sec. Finish tightening it. Oops, not in a good position. It needs to go all the way through. So basically, you're going to pull this through till the button is just outside the bore. And I'll show you that here. The button is just outside the bore. And now we're going to tighten it the rest of the way. After we tighten this, we're going to put the secondary stopper on the shaft of the pull button. Okay, and the, secondary stop, the secondary stopper is just this. It goes on the end, slides up to the collet, and then we're just going to tighten it down. And that keeps it from slipping if the collet slips. By biting into the uh, rifler, that's tight. Everything's out of the way. We're gonna put a little additional lubricant right on the button. So I got some rags there for that. The chuck is tight, so it's not going to allow the part to turn in there. And uh, now we're going to pick up the half inch drill with a one inch tool in it. And it should be set this way. And that's all there is to it, just like that. So now we'll take the uh, this out of the chuck. And it's probably oily in the bore. Hard to see with that light. There we go. We're rifled.
You can see the rifling in there, it's very oily, but that's it.